All right, I have the Emporia Level 2 EV car charger here. Also, I'm going to include a small video here in the corner that's going to show how easily it mounts to the wall with the included uh, bracket mounting hardware that comes with it. You either have to mount it directly to a stud. I know it comes with some um, anchors to go in the drywall, but you definitely want to put it into a stud to keep it secure on the wall. And you can do like I did. This is a little tip. If you don't have a stud, you just mount a piece of plywood to one to two studs. You don't even actually have to mount it to two. And then you can mount directly to the plywood and that'll keep it firmly on the wall all right so now that we got that out of the way just um i just want to go over a few variations of the model that uh it comes in they have a white unit and a black unit i have the white unit here i just like the way it looks so i went ahead and got the white unit and then they do have two variations they have a hardwired model and a plugged unit i have the plugged unit here and let me show you here's the plugged unit uh this is what it looks like it's a four prong 1450 plug uh, it's 240 volts, so definitely going to want to make sure that you have an electrician install an outlet that runs off of 240 volts. So it is a hardwired, and they only have one um, plug version. That's the 1450 four-prong 240 volt plug. The hardwired version is 240 volts as well. All right, so I got it plugged back in. Lights are flashing. Let's just go over what the lights mean here. Right here, you have your uh, power supply indicator. It's green. That means I've got power. I have the uh, Wi-Fi indicator now mine is flashing blue or not blue but not flashing but it is blue i don't know if that means that my wi-fi signal is weak or not i don't really use the wi-fi on it at all but you can go into your app and do a few settings like when you charge set it up for uh to charge on off peak times or something like that and you can change the output of the charging unit itself to charge at higher amperage but you are going to have to have a corresponding um breaker so if you want to get the full potential out of this you want to get an electrician to install you a 60 amp uh, breaker so that you can charge at around 50 55 amps that'll give you the full potential but you know some cars don't even take that much amperage i think mine's working at 35 amps and it charges just fine for me but i do have a, a smaller size battery because i have a plug-in hybrid vehicle so let's see also you do have this uh, indicator here that's for when it's charging that'll light up and then this is a warning light that'll show you if um, there's something wrong while you're charging so here's the handle here uh, it does have like a nice rubberized feel to it they use good components on it, so you can tell that it's a, a really nice build, has a good feel in your hand. Uh, it does have an included dust cover here. All right, so I've got the dust cover off, and as you can see, this is the uh, charging port that plugs into the car. This is the J1772 charging port. This is the one that pretty much all electric vehicles, except for the Teslas, use. But just a little side note, I have uh, gotten word that uh, other car manufacturers are going to be slowly progressing over to the uh, Tesla charging port, which is the... Uh, I think it's called the North American Charging Standard Port. This works on all EV vehicles if it's not a Tesla. If you do have a Tesla and you want to get this one, say you have a Tesla and a um, another electric vehicle, uh, you can just put an adapter on the end of this, on, on the end of this port that'll convert it over to the um, the pin style of the uh, North American Charging Standard Tesla port, so that you can put it charge a Tesla vehicle, pop that adapter off, and then charge your other EV vehicle. So th it will work on both, but you do have to have an adapter. All right, I'm over at my vehicle. I just want to show you how easily it plugs into the charging port. You just put it, line it up with the uh, holes. Makes a nice click sound, so you can tell that it's plugged in very well. I've got my indicator yellow. It should beep when it begins to charge. And there you go, it's charging. Another great thing about this uh, charger, it does come with, actually the cable is uh, very thick. You can tell that it's high quality. Um, and it is a 24 foot long cable, so you'll have plenty of room to charge your vehicle, uh, whether you want to park your car directly in front of the charger or somebody parks in front of you and you need to park in the space down, you'll have enough room to reach to um, get your uh, vehicle charged up. You unplug your car. I just unplugged mine. My car wasn't finished charging. Uh, we do have the flashing warning light. I think that's just to show that uh, I didn't finish charging the car. And uh, there, see, it shows that the uh, vehicle was unplugged now that it stopped uh, beeping and flashing. So that's a nice little alert there just to let you know if there's anything going on uh, with the uh, charger and if it's still charging or not. All right, let's just go ahead and put this down in here. Maybe try to answer a few questions you might have about the EV charger. Maybe this is your first time buying an electric charger uh, and getting an uh, electric vehicle. Question that you might have if this is your first time, can this run off a regular 120 volt outlet and no it cannot it requires 240 volts and a dedicated breaker uh, you're going to want to have an electrician or somebody that's qualified to um, install that for you 
another question a lot of people have uh, when they first get the charger is how long is it going to take to charge my car? Uh, that's going to depend on a few factors. It's going to depend on the kilowatt size of your uh, electric vehicle's battery and the amount of amperage uh, that you are um, are you that you're wired into from the charger. So, like I said, I'm at a, a four. I have a 40 amp breaker, so I'm running at about 35 amps when I charge. If you want to get your full potential, like I said, you want to make sure you get the 60 amp breaker. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, formulas that you can check out to find out uh, with your vehicle's manufacturer uh, how long it's going to take for your vehicle to get charged. And another question you might have is, can you use this with a Tesla? And like I explained before, yeah, you can use it with a Tesla. It does not have the uh, port, the North American charging standard port. Uh, it does have the J1772 port here. Let's get the dust cover off. So that's the port there. Uh, yes, you can use it on both cars, but you, it does require an adapter to uh, get it to the North American charging standard, the one that Tesla uses. But as it sits right now, it's meant to be used on all other uh, EV vehicles without an adapter. But yes, you can use it on both vehicles if you do have an adapter. Can it be mounted outside and is it weather resistant? Yes, it can be mounted outside. The case is completely sealed and it's designed to be water resistant. Uh, I like to have mine plugged in inside in the garage. I just think it's a little bit safer that way. And then also you don't have anybody that's going to be messing around with your charging unit on the outside of your house. All right, so I went ahead and answered a few questions about it. I hope that this video is helpful. And uh, this Emporia Level 2 EV charger, uh, it's a great charger. Works well for me and uh, definitely recommend it.